Hi, how are you doing? As it is easy to understand, as we get older we are more likely to fall down because of balance problems, fission problems or even inadequate medication. Let us see what we can make clear after having studied tens of thousands of older people. Generally speaking, individual or collective exercise programs designed to prevent falls that work for strength and balance, such as Tai Chi, seem to be effective. Interventions to improve safety at home also seem to be effective, especially for people who are more likely to fall and when they are carried out by professionals, let us remember some basic principles, unnecessary obstacles, such as carpets or furniture, keeping order, taking care of lighting, replacing the bath with a shower with a non-slip floor and firm handles, must be removed. And if there are stairs, a solid handrail. Vitamin D supplements do not seem to work. And in this regard, it is preferable to obtain this vitamin from fish, above all, and meat, and calcium, from milk and its derivatives, and combine them with walks in the sun. Incidentally, it is important to pay attention to fluid intake, because over the years, the sensation of thirst is not so reliable to maintain an adequate degree of hydration. Some drugs cause falls, such as those that make you drowsy or dizzy and the gradual withdrawal of certain medications to improve sleep, reduce anxiety, and treat depression has been shown to reduce falls. It is very important to take care of your eyesight, as evidenced by the fact that cataract surgery on the first eye already reduces falls. The heart should be monitored because certain age-related conditions cause changes in heart rate and blood pressure that can lead to falls and a pacemaker greatly corrects this problem. Finally, let us encourage our elders to maintain an active social life, with encouragement to leave home and walk, as these are decisive factors in avoiding dependence.